Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible, one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter of the Bible, and I'm sharing that with you. Today, we're looking at Numbers chapter 3. Do you know what it means that you are redeemed? An Old Testament illustration of redemption comes with the purchasing of all the firstborns of Israel through the tribe of Levi. Every firstborn of Israel rightfully became gods at the Passover event. Later, in Exodus chapter 13, verse 2, God reminded his people of his claim on them when he said, Sanctify to me every firstborn, the first offspring of every womb among the sons of Israel, both of man and beast, it belongs to me. The firstborns should have died during the tenth plague, but instead were saved by the shed blood of the Passover lamb and set apart as belonging to God. God made a way for them to be redeemed, and that is why the Levites weren't counted in the census for the army. Listen to God explain the cost of redemption in Numbers chapter 3, verses 12 to 13. Now behold, I have taken the Levites from among the sons of Israel instead of every firstborn, the first issue of the womb among the sons of Israel. So the Levites shall be mine, for all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctified to myself all the firstborn in Israel, from man to beast. They shall be mine. I am the Lord." My God is a jealous God. <laughs> there were 22,000 Levites, which was only 273 people shy of redeeming every firstborn male in Israel, which were 22,273 souls. What did God do about those additional 273 firstborns? He set a ransom price. That's right. The redemption price of five shekels per head. Because redemption is never free. There was a substitution for the redemption of every firstborn in Israel, just as Jesus Christ is our substitution for our redemption. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20, For you have been bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. That's right. You've been ransomed. You've been bought back. You've been redeemed. Ha. Seize the moment and glorify God with your life because it's His anyways. Surrender control. Seize the moment.